Are llamas really for you? Keep watching this video because later on we will reveal why llamas are now a thing in the pet world. Llamas, those fuzzy dudes you see in pictures with cool hats, don't worry, we won't make them wear hats, might be more than just cute farm animals. Get ready to explore the good, the bad, and the woolly, because llamas, of course. Imagine having a giant fluffy friend who's actually pretty chill and even kind of trainable. Treats involved, of course. Sounds awesome, right? But hold on to your cowboy hats. Llamas aren't exactly low-maintenance houseplants. We'll spill the beans on the space they need, the food they love, and basically everything you gotta know to decide if a llama is your perfect fuzzy match. So whether you're a full-blown llama fanatic or just curious about these cool creatures, this video is your one-stop shop for llama pet info. Get ready for some fun facts, some laughs, and maybe even a newfound appreciation for our fuzzy South American friends. Dare to dream wild, llama lovers. Welcome to the legalized exotic pets, where we make the impossible possible. Now, before we go on with the video, make sure to support the channel by giving us a thumbs up subscribe to the legalized exotic pets and smash the bell icon to get notified when we post more exciting and pawsome content like this one now where were we ah yes why llamas are the best pets ever look at a llama and think man i bet those guys are chill well you would be right llamas are becoming superstar pets and this video is here to tell you why Hold on to your cowboy hats though, because llamas aren't exactly like fluffy house cats. We'll break down the truth about these adorable Andes buddies. Sure, they're cute as cripplies, llama babies, but they're also livestock with their own needs. Think of them as the super chill, grassy eating cousins of cows or sheep. The good news, llamas are low key, smart, and surprisingly clean. Plus, they're known for being friendly. Imagine a giant fuzzy friend who's always down to just hang out. Sounds pretty awesome, right? But here's the thing. Don't let those baby pics fool you. Llamas need space to roam and graze, not a tiny apartment. If your only experience is with cats and dogs, you gotta do your homework. This video will be your llama whisperer guide. We'll show you if a llama is the perfect fuzzy friend to add to your crew and maybe even your backyard. So grab some snacks, cuddle up with your pup or cat, no judgment, and get ready to learn about the coolest new pet on the block, the mighty llama. First off, llamas aren't tiny. They can grow up to five feet tall at the shoulder and weigh up to 300 pounds. That's about the size of a big refrigerator. Baby llamas, called Cree Uz, are way smaller and even cuter, but they grow up fast. Females reach their full size around two years old, while males take a bit longer at three years. The good news, these fluffy friends can live for 20 to 25 years so you'll have a long time to bond with your woolly companion. Llamas come in all sorts of colors, just like living rainbows. Their thick wool coat, which can grow up to eight inches long, keeps them warm in the cold mountains where they come from. Think of it like a built-in winter jacket, but unlike sheep, llama wool doesn't have a special oil that makes it waterproof. So, maybe skip the bubble bath for your llama. They also have short hair on their legs and belly to help them cool down when it gets hot. These aren't your typical farm animals though. Llamas are known for their long, graceful necks, big eyes, and those adorable floppy ears. They even have a special posture, kind of like they're always leaning forward 
ready for an adventure, or maybe just a tasty snack. Next time you see a llama, you'll know more than just their hat-wearing potential. These fascinating creatures are full of surprises, and who knows, maybe one day you'll have your own fuzzy friend to keep you company. Just remember, they're not miniature poodles. They need space to roam and graze. They're known for being friendly and curious, but let's face it, the whole spitting thing can be a bit intimidating. So what's the deal with llama spit? Llamas are social creatures with a strict pecking order. Think of it as high school for llamas, with spitting being their way of saying back off to a lower ranked llama who's stepping out of line. The occasional human might get caught in the crossfire, but trust us, it's not personal. The key to avoiding a spittle shower is understanding llama social dynamics and respecting their space. Don't smother baby llamas with affection. While they're adorable, they need to learn proper llama behavior from their herd mates. Here's the good news. Llamas are social butterflies who thrive in groups. So, if you're considering a llama pal, get them a buddy or two to keep them company. Llama love is definitely possible, but it requires a little understanding and some good llama citizenship. Respect their space, provide them with a furry friend, and you'll be well on your way to building a bond with these fascinating creatures. Who knows, maybe you'll even get an ear scratch or two. Llama cuddles are a maybe, but hey, a little llama love goes a long way. Remember, llamas are intelligent animals with complex social lives. By learning about their behavior and needs, you can create a harmonious relationship with these unique and surprisingly lovable creatures. So ditch the fear of the spit and embrace the wonder of the llama. Let's talk space. First things first, shelter. Llamas aren't fans of the rain or scorching sun, so they'll need a shaded area to hang out in. Think of it like a personal vacation spot for your fuzzy friend. A barn or a three-sided shed works well with good ventilation to keep things cool in the summer. Fans are a great option for those hot days, so having electricity in the shed is a plus. The good news? Llamas aren't picky about the floor. Dirt, concrete, sand, or even woodworks. Just make sure it stays dry. And speaking of space, don't crowd your llamas. They like their personal bubble, so factor that in when figuring out the size of their shelter. Here's the best part. Llamas are grazers, so if you have pastures with good grass, you're golden. Hay works too, and don't forget the salt and mineral licks. They're essential for their health. Fresh water is a must-have, always. Grain isn't usually necessary, except for pregnant or nursing llamas. However, your vet might recommend some corn during the winter months to give them an extra energy boost. Speaking of energy boost, let's discuss diet. Now, before we go on with the video, make sure to support the channel by giving us a thumbs up, subscribe to the Legalized Exotic Pets, and smash the bell icon to get notified when we post more exciting and possum content like this one. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, llama diet. Llamas may look fancy, but guess what? They're actually pretty easy to feed. These hardy grazers are like chill vegetarians who don't demand a fancy gourmet menu. So what's the llama chow down lowdown? First things first, hey, Think of it like a llama salad bar. They love munching on clean, fresh hay, especially if they don't have access to a grassy pasture. Just skip the grains and seeds for the most part. They're not a necessary part of a llama's diet, unless you have a pregnant or nursing mama llama who needs a little extra energy boost. Speaking of energy, llamas are surprisingly efficient eaters. 
they only need about 10 to 12 pounds of hay a day, which is like 2 to 4% of their body weight. Imagine a human eating just a slice of pizza a day. That's kind of how efficient llamas are. Fresh water is a must-have, of course. While they don't drink as much as some other farm animals, they still need a constant supply to stay healthy. And remember, overeating isn't good for anyone, including llamas. So, avoid giving them unlimited food, especially grains. Here's a fun llama fact. They love salt licks. Think of it like a giant salt lick lollipop for your fuzzy friend. Look for loose minerals or pellets instead of big blocks. Llamas can't lick those very well. The lick should have things like selenium, calcium, and phosphorus to keep them happy and healthy. Winter coming, no problem. You can add some corn to your llama's diet to give them an extra energy boost during the colder months. Just think of it like a cozy winter jacket made of corn, yummy and functional. Llamas may not be fashion models, but their coats deserve some love. The key to a llama's glorious locks, keeping them healthy and well-fed, happy tummy equals shiny coat. Some llamas, like those with silky surrey fiber, might need more care. Think brushing and maybe even a blow dry. Llamas can love it. Talk to your vet for specific advice. For most llamas though, grooming is simple. An occasional soft brushing to remove dirt and loose hair is all they need. It's like a relaxing spa day for your fuzzy friend. Bonus tip, llama mud baths. Believe it or not, they help keep their coat healthy. So, keeping your llama looking fabulous is about a healthy diet, a little brushing love, and maybe some dirt pampering. Llamas are tough cookies, but even superheroes need a checkup sometimes. Let's talk about keeping your fuzzy friend healthy and happy. Just like us, llamas can get tummy troubles, ulcers, and even arthritis. The key is to watch for signs of illness, like not wanting to eat or acting strange. Regular vet checkups are a must, kind of like a llama wellness retreat. Don't forget about their teeth and hooves. They need care too. Your vet can give you specific advice on keeping those pearly whites sparkling and hooves healthy Think of it like a spa day for your llama's chompers and feet. And speaking of keeping things clean, deworming is important for llamas, just like all farm animals. How often depends on where you live and how clean your pastures are. Think of worms like uninvited guests. You want to get rid of them before they cause a party in your llama's tummy. Here's the tricky part. There aren't llama-specific dewormers yet, but don't worry, sheep and cattle meds can do the trick. Your vet can help create a deworming schedule based on where you live and those pesky white-tailed deer in your area. They can spread worms to llamas. Vaccines and parasite control are also important for llama health. Think of them like tiny shields that keep your fuzzy friend safe from nasties. Your vet will recommend the right ones to keep your llama happy and healthy. Remember, llamas are tough critters, but regular vet care and warming keep them feeling their best. A healthy llama is a happy llama, ready to grazi, chill, and maybe even give you a friendly neck nuzzly. And that wraps up today's adventure in llama pet care. We hope our insights have shed some light on whether this long-necked livestock extraordinaire is right for you or your household, or should we say farmhouse? Do you have any more exotic pets you'd like us to cover? Sound off below and let us know in the comments section. We'd love to hear about it. Stick around for our next installment and join us again for more exciting discoveries right here 
at Legalized Exotic Pets. Until next time.